This is probably gonna be the shortest video I have ever published to a better computer, but I have a really quick example I wanted to show as to why I think some people just want to scream when they see that a new Mac app is being done in Electron. And I think that Electron apps can be great. I think there's some really good apps. Some of the apps I rely on most on my Mac are built in Electron and that's awesome. But I think the bad apps give the other ones a bad name. So I've got two apps pulled up on screen here. And if I just want to hide this app, it's a very common thing I'm doing all day long. I hit Command H and the app is hidden. It moves to the background and another app is in the foreground now, right? That's awesome. And then I can use my uh, switcher to go back to it. And now it's in the front. Perfect. Easy. That's exactly how Mac apps should work. Now let's try the other app. So over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to hide it. I want to move on to something else. I hit Command H and it disappears from the screen, but you might notice it's still in the menu bar. It's still the frontmost app. So, okay, that's kind of weird. It means I need to click on the next thing I want to do before I can actually interact with it, which is annoying. Um, but okay, let's say we've done that. Now I want to go back to it, right? So I'm going to use the switcher just like I would to go back to the app and it doesn't show up. Um, it doesn't show up. And as far as I can tell, I can hit Command H again. It doesn't unhide it. There's no way from the keyboard to me for me to bring this app back to the forefront. I have to click it in the dock and that brings it back. And I don't think this is necessarily inherent to Electron, but it is something you would not see in a normal Mac app. Um, it's not doing the right thing. 1Password is a good Electron app and it is doing the right thing. It's behaving as if it were a native app. It's doing the right things. Uh, the app over here is not doing that. It's technically hiding it, but it's just doing like a display none if you are familiar with CSS. But it's still there and it's still in the forefront. It's just not doing the right thing. So this is one example. I know there's many more and I know people get very passionate about this, but there's a couple Electron apps that I use and have been trying out that do this and it just drives me up the wall. And I'm saying this as someone who's completely fine with developers using Electron because I think there are some really good apps out there built in it and it's not really a detriment. But these bad apps that, or I shouldn't say bad apps, these apps that do things in non-native ways in the wrong ways that just feel wrong on the Mac, I think make people have a bad impression of all of them. So I wanted to talk about it today. This video probably went a little bit longer than I said it was going to, but hopefully uh, this kind of <laughs> helps you understand the feeling that some people have around Electron. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.